What is post-anarchism? The first thing I'd like to say is that post-anarchism does not in any sense apply some idea of being after anarchism or that anarchism is over or finished. Post-anarchism is shorthand for what I call post-structuralist anarchism. And what I mean by that is my uh, theoretical attempt to renew 19th uh, century anarchist thought through post-structuralist theory, in other words, through the theories of uh, contemporary uh, continental thinkers like uh, Foucault, Derrida, Lacan, Deleuze, but also old um, uh, 19th century theorists like uh, Max Stirner and, and Friedrich Nietzsche. And I think what the I think the implication of all of these different thinkers uh, is that we can no longer sustain the the revolutionary meta narrative, which is at the heart of anarchist theory. Um, Firstly, because uh, power relations today are much more dispersed and decentralised uh, than they were in the 19th century, so there is no symbolic target, no symbolic centre of power anymore. Secondly, because I think the, the, the subject of freedom, in other words, the, the, the individual or the notion of man who liberates himself from power, um, is no longer really thinkable today. What we find is a kind of a, a, a sort of a plurality of different struggles um, over a whole variety of different issues and so on. So there's no uh, way in which um, uh, in which we can uh, uh, sustain the sort of the narrative of, of kind of one single revolutionary event. So the way I think about post-anarchism today, uh, and the way in which I think it, it appeals to a number of different struggles, is to think about a much more uh, pluralistic. Um, uh, politics which kind of coalesces around different struggles, for instance ecological struggles, struggles on behalf of the rights of, uh, uh, of so-called illegal migrants for instance, struggles against austerity. Um, I think for instance uh, the Occupy movement is a very interesting example of, of a kind of contemporary anarchistic form of politics. So the way I would define post-anarchism or post-anarchist politics today is a form of, is a way of thinking about anarchism which starts rather than finishes with anarchy. And what I mean by this is that it starts with a certain kind of, uh, I suppose, ethical assumption that power, or rather domination, is never entirely justified. Right? So therefore, uh, relations of domination should always be challenged and resisted, but I don't think it can be any longer um, determined or overdetermined by some um, notion of a sort of a universal revolutionary event which is going to transform social relations in their entirety. Uh, I think it's much more interesting to look at a series of localized struggles which are actually quite different from one another, which may intersect at certain points, but which are no longer which can no longer be seen as part of some kind of great universal revolutionary struggle.